Uh, Steve Weintraub with Collider, and I'm thrilled to be here with the cast and showrunner of Tales of the Walking Dead. Um, first of all, thank you so much for coming thank in. You. Thank you. Thank you for having Thanks us for out it. here. Please. I have, uh, let's just say, at least five questions. But before we get started, uh, Terry knows that every time I talk to him, I bring up what's known as the documentary known as Idiocracy. Yes. <laughs> when, when did you realize that the film was actually a documentary about our modern times? I got a call from Time Magazine asking me all about the last election. And I was going, why are you asking me? You know, you're <laughs> President Camacho. And I went, oh my goodness. Uh, and then I knew it, it had really reached a fever pitch of viral. It was just super viral. And, you know, the movie gets bigger every year. Um, and I don't know if that's a good thing. You know what I mean? I want it to be a funny. And like I, I, I was talking on the Comic-Con panel today that Idiocracy has really turned into a very true horror movie in a lot of ways. That's how I knew it was perfect. Was <laughs> Jenny got me. Yes. So for people that don't realize, this is an anthology series, six episodes. And I guess what do you want? fans to know about the series do you have to have watched any of the walking dead beforehand you do not there is we have one recurring character in in d meets alpha but um even that you could probably tune in blind and and pick up where we are pretty quickly but every other episode is standalone maybe there's a little easter egg in a couple of them that that hint to something on the walking dead but i have to ask you you said every other episode is standalone yes so three of the episodes are connected no, there's only one. I just meant that in it, hers uh, is standalone. I see what you're saying. Yes. No, no. I, I meant I just meant that standalone in the fact that they don't have anything to do with the franchise or the world. Hers is the only one that's really very, very connected. Um, but we might have a little Easter egg in there for you in a few of those episodes. Sure. So when I looked at the footage, it seemed like a lot of the epi and again, I don't 100 percent know, but it seems like a lot of the material takes place at the beginning of everything. Is it primarily or all the stories set at the beginning of this event? They're not. We set. Um, no, they take place over. A, we tentatively 35 years into the future. Don't don't quote me on that. Scott will kill me. But um <laughs> Um, no, we, we wanted to go in every direction of the United States that we could go in and every timeline that we could go in. So My episode to... was like a thousand years in the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. They're speaking. Yeah, via ro they're robots, actually. Um, That's not true. That's not true. Sorry. <laughs> For the cast, I, I love learning about like the behind the scenes, the making of a show or a movie and, and just hearing about things that like a fan normally wouldn't. So for all three of you, actually for all four of you, what do you think would surprise people to learn about the making of a Walking Dead show or specifically this show? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, you know, for me, it was it was just the, the amount of work that goes into one episode. People would have no idea. Listen. We are doing a full feature film in 10 days. Mm -hmm. And I mean everything. Uh, and it's almost it, it's, it's almost like I, I don't remember stopping filming. <laughs> you know, what I mean? it was yeah. like 10 days continuous. Like, I think I went to sleep, but or was I just in the apocalypse you know what i mean like it was it was hard to figure out and you know it was another thing is is that you know you didn't want it to be easy because it is the apocalypse and by the time i got done and you know there were things that i was re resisting like you know snacks and different things that little little creature comforts because you wouldn't have that and so to get in into character and to really do this thing right, it was a lot of sacrifice that a lot of people would would think, oh yeah, they're probably drinking smoothies and having a good time. No, it, it's it's one of those things that you want to be in touch with the whole time you're filming. Yeah, I was eating uh, only like salads and unseasoned foods. Yeah. I swear. No, <laughs> during, you, yeah, at the same real. time, it just so happened that it aligns with like a men's health shoot that I was doing. So I was just like um, eating really clean, but like. Yeah, it was just like, but it, but it also like added to the schedule shoot. Like it made it feel so um, a lot tougher on just like, you know, you're surviving. And I think one of the moments that I realized, like, and I guess this is what you're asking, is seeing a family of walkers in the green room on their phones. <laughs> <laughs> and so it was like a family just that was just sitting down and um, 
they were just like texting and you know waiting to be called on set and i thought it was one of the funniest things to just experience behind the scenes but just to put it in context when we talk about movies movies can take like let's say an average low budget movie in the uk would take between four and five weeks okay to shoot a movie and a hollywood movie they take months yeah and they have long lunches and they've, they've got a lot of time to work everything out and lighting rigs. You hit the ground running on this show. The crew are like insanely talented. Mm -hmm. And it's not that it's like dangerously tight. It's it's the time. It's it's that for a reason and no one messes about. There's no like baggy sides. Right. You know, everything is just tight and we get on with it. And it's, yeah, That's it's just really good. Point. That's a great point. Yeah. Does it actually make, and again, I don't actually know. Listen, I've been on shoots where people are lucky to get two takes and I've been on other things where, you know, they are shooting until they get it right. So what is it like when you're shooting something like this? Do you have like, it's basically three takes every time or are you sometimes one take, you're moving on? Uh, from my experience, it, it's different every, sorry, my experience is different every episode. It just depends on the rhythm of the day and how much we need to get done. And I love the helicopter. I know. It's fantastic. <laughs> This is, listen, the pro of being outside is no masks. It's beautiful. The backdrop. Rick Grimes flying yeah, yeah. away the, here. The, neg <laughs> the, the negative is, is we have, we got listen, Rick Grimes flying what, away. what people don't realize is Terry has a huge fan base that loves to take paparazzi shots from helicopters. But also, yeah, shout out true. to the Navy. So There have been many here. drones that have ruined shots on The Walking Dead. That's fans driving. Really? Yeah. <gasps> yeah. And so it's it's cheaper to like reshoot it than to like paint it out? I, it's just... Or it's also sound. sound. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so the, the amount of takes. Do you typically... Is it like sometimes... Can you sort of talk about that? It, it, it really honestly depends on the on the actor, actor on, on the, the actor, actor. Yeah. and and there's so many elements that go into a shot as well. Especially if it's kind of handheld and everything's choreographed, it can be one, you know, supporting artist that misses their cue and they're not in the shot or they block the. You know, there's so so many elements that it's like mm -hmm. magic. It's like a dance. Yeah. I, I you know, we've got to get the dance credit. right. They, they do a, a wonderful job because again, we're not talking about doing uh, you know feature length script you know what i'm saying it's really we have enough time to do what we need to do but it's just so deep and it's so exhausting yeah. because it is it and and the way channing and, and these guys have set this thing up is that there's certain set pieces there's certain things that are just more pivotal than others right we need to spend this time on this scene. You know what I mean? And then other things, it's like, okay, we can get that done. And we oh, yeah, go. no, totally. Like a dialogue scene is, is completely different than when you're fighting a walker. Exactly. It's, it's Correct. completely yeah. see, different. So it was like they, they know how the pacing should go. They know they, they've been in this world. They understand it. But also the thing is, is that it's like we're singing our version of the Walking Dead song which could be a total different tone, a different pace, a different, on, you know what I mean? It's like, I look at, I, I Will Always Love You by Dolly Parton is way different than the one by Whitney Houston. And you say, and, and it's almost with this anthology series, I feel it's the same way. It's a different song every time you see it. And you're like, wow, I didn't hear it like this, but it's the same words, you know what I mean? It's like, that world does not change. So for the three of you, can what can you say about your particular episode? I'm assuming all three are in different episodes or? No, well, I think the, the really fun thing about tackling this is um, how different each episode is and the genres they play with. Within one genre, there's a lot of uh, ways to approach a zombie apocalypse. And I think that each of them having their own DNA and their own fingerprint on how, because all of us, like we, we all live, life and but we all approach life so differently and um i think within different stories different stories like cater to a different genre more so than others and i think that was what i think is one of the most exciting things about this anthology series is that it's six different stories that have a little bit of a different tone um and yeah i don't know so tell me a little bit more about, your uh, episode about my episode oh um <laughs> well no i think that that that's where that's I, I just lay it out i made it broad though so because so i wouldn't get in trouble because yeah, i, I think i don't want to uh, yeah i don't want to yeah. put it to you know I'm, yeah I'm yeah no that's why i opened it up on purpose oh, oh my god this is me this is me dodging and, and, and this is me just pushing right on yeah. in you're <laughs> saying f it colliding right colliding that's the right word you, yeah uh collidering Right. I, again, you're doing it right. Anytime we can plug the site, it's great. Collider. Right. Okay, now, we, yeah, we're now, we're, you know, Collider. I'm not going to pay you for this. So you got You might as well just. Collider. Right. 
Can you tease anything besides what I've seen in the footage? Well, I, I can say it's me and Olivia Munn. And Olivia, uh, we have chemistry that goes way back from the beginning. We, uh, we did Newsroom together. Uh, with Aaron Sorkin and name dropping, I see the way that. Oh was. no, I love that drop. That's the name to drop. You know what I mean? I, I heard that working right. on a Sorkin piece is, whoo, it's a lot. Um, it it made us better because it was brutal. Uh, you you can't change a line. You can't do. You have to say things the way Aaron wants you to say them, exactly in his cadence and the whole thing. And it was discipline. Uh, but by doing that, we developed this chemistry that we revisited in this episode uh and it was really to me because i like to see comedy and horror are two sides of the same coin and i always love the re the release that comedy brings a very tension-filled moment and let me tell you olivia handles that like a champ like wow and, and it's going to be very refreshing to see i think that the, the touch of comedy in our episode is one of the things that makes it different I think um, for those people out there who obviously watch the show, was in The Walking Dead, and they know who you know Alpha is, I think for me, when I read the episode, there's such a twist that I didn't see coming that I think that is that's like wow. So well done. I mean, insanely brilliant. And um, I was like, whoa! <laughs> I'm not used to this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's a, I don't, it's not a spoiler, but it's like that. Yeah, if I felt like that, and if you love the show and you love Alpha, just, yeah. How did you guys actually, was it the network that said, we want six episodes? Um, it, because it seems like recently, and I could be wrong, but it, a, a lot of shows are, are moving to six and eight episode seasons. And I'm just curious if that was a network thing. We always knew it was going to be six episodes. There was the possibility at one point that it might be eight, but we knew going in that it was six episodes. However... My writer's room and I came up with, I think, 25 different ideas for what those six episodes could be. So, you know, we got a season two ready for it now. Um, uh -huh. But uh, it, it, we had to whittle it down from that many ideas into the six that we shot. One of the things about doing an anthology show like this, I think back on, uh, I don't know if you guys remember the show Quantum Leap. But so I loved Quantum Leap. And the thing that most people didn't realize is every episode was essentially a pilot because they had to redo everything, cast all new cast, all new locations. It's really hard to do an anthology show like you guys are doing. It's the same thing. Every week is a pilot. So what the hell is that like putting it together and, you know, the challenges that go with that? That was definitely a wake up call because I had been in the Walking Dead world for so long. I knew the crew was amazing. I knew we could. I knew the challenges that The Walking Dead itself has. Um, and then to, on top, so I was like, we got this. But then on top of that, to put in new cast every episode, new directors, new setting. And also, we're shooting in one place, but it's supposed to be set all over America. So we had to make everything look as different as we possibly could. So that was a that was the biggest challenge that we fa we faced, honestly. That but how hard. great to be challenged because yes. otherwise, what's the point? Why yes. do anything exactly. else? The, you know, The Walking Dead. It's done. You know, it's sadly mm -hmm. it's coming to an end. But that has been said. Why? Why do it? It's not, it's, it's not that the network said we want this. It, it, they do, but it, it's um it's because they're original, new ideas, and they have a space, and they're relevant mm -hmm. and important. It's exciting. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> that was the mic drop. The mic drop is perfect on that note um i'm gonna wrap with you guys who can do more, so you guys can do more speed dating with other people and i'm just gonna say i'm really looking forward to seeing the series thank you so much for coming by and for people that don't realize what's the day it premieres in august august 14th 14th right. august p.m right exactly mm -hmm. i didn't i didn't remember that amc and amc plus yes yeah. AMC Plus in two episodes, right? I think so, yeah. 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 Sneak peek. And I even think that you get the next week's episode early if you're a subscriber. You like the way I did that? Uh, <laughs> Publicist? They, they gave me I'm more up. Very, very, very happy. Yeah. Like um, but seriously, thank you guys so much for thank coming by. Thank you for having by. us. Good to see you again, Steve.